everybody before we get started in this morning's update i want to start out first by wishing everybody a happy thanksgiving i appreciate each and every one of you as we do have exactly 19,000 subscribers in the audience so we actually hit the 19,000 before thanksgiving just minutes before which is an honor and a privilege to now be at 19,000 with each and every one of you please make sure to hit that like button if you come in here and watch as it will help more people reach this beautiful community be able to interact and allow us to expand our reach through the analytics and algorithm there's a couple things we need to talk about obviously we need to talk about the xrp technical analysis we sit around the 613 level i'm going to take a look at the charts but it remains at 605 as long as we're above it and we can bounce off of this descending channel as we have so far and invalidate that death cross in the four hourly our next level to get up to is that 645 level. i'm going to show you everything in between and everything that needs to happen and then at the end we're going to talk about gary gensler Gary Gensler, there's some proof that came out from back in 2018 where Gary Gensler endorsed uh, the Ripple ODL, the on-demand liquidity, and all of a sudden did a, he pulled the Uno reverse card on crypto a couple years later. But we're going to go into some of that information as that's come out this morning. And then um, obviously we need to just take a deep dive into XRP real quick. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. Please make sure to hit that like button as I play the intro. And if you appreciate what I do, hit that subscribe button on this Thanksgiving. Consider, if you want to pay it forward on this day of thanks, you can always join Tom's Army. Pay it forward for all the work I put in and the fact that I don't miss any days. Or you can join, send a YouTube Super Chat. But really, the most important thing on this Thanksgiving, and we all need to be doing it, is hit that like button and share this on social media so this great community can expand. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Thursday, November 22nd, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So as we can see, XRP sits right around the 612 level. If we're looking to see exactly what needs to happen, I won't take up much of your time. I'm going to go through this in a prompt fashion. I got to go help Julie with the turkey. I got to do the separating so we can get it in the oven for the uh, Thanksgiving. We're going to do a little celebration here today. We do it every year at our house. Um, so ever since we moved in, what was it? This is our third, third year now doing it at this house. So we're going to do that and get everything ready. So XRP right now, if we're working on this W reversal, if you look at the daily time frame, we look like we have an inverted hammer, which is actually a bullish candle. Now, if we can come back after putting in this inversion, if we can come back and finish off and close above that 616 huge sign of strength um our next major test here if we do start pushing back up is to get back above that 646 get back above that rising channel resistance that started june of 2022 and then today it would be nice to show a candle that could break above 616 before the daily close we'll see what happens here because in the four hour that we came now I'm pretty far after an inverted hammer. So now it could be a stability candle and you might come back and even retest the 200 day here in a prompt fashion at 606 just to prove that this in fact is a continuation. Looks like it could be putting in that W reversal, but we still need to pull up a little bit farther. The daily time frame, I would love to see it close above 616 today. If you want to show real strength, you close above that 617, but I'm, I'm looking at this previous wick high at 6164. So let's close above that. And if we could close above the 20 day, obviously that would be a good sign at 618. But what I'm looking for right now is I just want to see a close now on this inverted hammer candle. I want to see a close above that 6163. If we can close above 6163, it's going to be a huge sign of strength. Just remember, we're on this inverted hammer. So this could be a continuation for bullishness on the next daily candle. If we look at the XRP market cap it's up about 69 million nothing major it looks like an inverted hammer here as well our next layer is that 33.15 to get on top of and then if we do swing back around we do have a cup and handle building and it's a long-standing one it came all the way back here to july so if we do fulfill that you should anticipate us to come up to 44 million dollars or 44.8 billion 
but that's conditional you have to get on top of the rising channel resistance and now it's going to end up meeting this area over here you're gonna have to get above 39.25 billion and try to make some kind of rally up and then if let's just say hypothetically we were to break down which right now it looks more bullish than bearish we're on top of this broadening or uh, descending channel the only thing that we need to do right now though is get back above that rising channel resistance at that 646 now if you see us breaking down first sign of problems would be one we lose that 606 and then ultimately you see us give way ultimately losing the 581 and coming back down into this descending channel probably below 56 and a half cents and that would ultimately bring you to 52 cents if you take the bearish route so just keep that in the back of your head if we break those levels that can happen and then with this so the SEC chair Gensler previously endorsed Ripple's ODL for cross-border payments with XRP. U.S. SEC chairman Gary Gensler, notorious for his hurtful actions against blockchain firms, had recognized XRP and contributions to facilitating cross-border payments. Gensler endorsed, just hear this, Gensler endorsed the usefulness of Ripple's solution in moving payment between two countries during an economic forum on the impact of blockchain technology finance in 2018. Um, during that interactive session, Joe Marie Griesgraber of the nonprofit New Rules for Global Finance posed a crucial question to the SEC chairman separating Bitcoin from blockchain technology. Griesgraber, Griesgraber, whatever, so sought clarity on the feasibility of leveraging blockchain for instantaneous, low-cost international remittances through central banks. She highlighted the exorbitant cross-border transmission costs from countries like tanzania to nigeria alongside the inefficiencies in the existing system so and then um in response sc chairman gensler affirmed that blockchain technology is usable for cost effective cross-border transactions without bitcoin he consented the significant remittance costs from the movement between furthermore gensler outlined the historical challenges associated with nostril accounts and the intricate account based setup for international transactions however he expressed optimism about the potential of blockchain technology to streamline these processes he stands he stated blockchain technologies are alternatives to traditional systems like swift as they can function efficiently without needing a mechanism to bear counterparty risk during cross-border transactions gensler acknowledging xrp and ripple in this context gensler noted that a bridge currency such as xrp is necessary to facilitate seamlessly seamless transactions between different Fiat currencies, Gensler mentioned utilizing stable coins backed by major fiat currencies or innovative currencies like XRP. You could use block, and this is in his words, you could use blockchain, but the current thinking is you need a bridge currency in between, and that bridge could be stable value that's backed by the US dollar or the euro, and it could be a currency like Ripple has an alternative that's just piloted in May of 2018. While acknowledging the experimental stage of Ripple's pilot in May, he understand underscore the transformative role a bridge currency on the blockchain could play in overcoming the hurdles of international remittances it is worth mentioning that the product Gensler referred to that got piloted in may 2018 was x rapid x rapid used xrp for cross-border liquidity notably x rapid has since been rebranded into ripple on demand liquidity odl which has also been recently adapted into payment uh ripple payments Gensler admired xrp and algo but now calls them security while the sec chairman admitted to xrp role as a bridge asset in 2018. He tagged XRP as security in 2020 lawsuit, which has now ended nearly three years later. It hasn't, it, which has not ended nearly three years later. Similarly, in 2019 presentation, Gensler recognized Algo, ran Algo as a great technology that has a performance with which you could create Uber on top of it. However, in a lawsuit in April 2023, the chairman categorized Algo as a security as well. So you guys can see what's going on here. This is all a cat and mouse show. This is all facade. Please make sure you hit that like button if you appreciate my work. Consider hitting that subscribe button as we just hit 19,000 subscribers on the nose. If you'd like to be 19,001 and start pushing us to 20,000, I would greatly appreciate that. If you'd like to show some further support on this Thanksgiving, you can always send a YouTube super chat. You can join Tom's Army, which would be the greatest gift of all if you're looking to trade XRP, your favorite crypto. Video description below, you can find MaxC and or BitUnix. At least, uh, those are ones that allow us to trade in the USA. New users on Maxi, it'll be more difficult. Old users are welcome. BitUnix allows new users in the USA and worldwide without a um, KYC as of right now. So take advantage of that. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy time with your family. Thank you all for blessing me this year. Thank you to the 19,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it without each and every one of you.